Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce, Filipinos talking basketball. Right now I have a special guest, Tyler Garcia. I finally got him into the studio. I've known you for a long time. Thank you for coming, Tyler. Thank you for having Let, me. Let's start off with the questions. Everyone knows you in the Filipino League. Let me just introduce you for a bit. We've actually watched you play basketball. You scored 40 points on Filipino TV broadcast. I remember you scored a lot of points in your whole basketball career, and they know you. Let me just list some accomplishments. BioSteel, all Canadian, which is a big accomplishment for any Asian or any Filipino. You have SMNBTC. Obviously, Mike Cruz brought you guys to the Philippine, Philippines, and you showed out there. You became free go player of the game, what you're wearing, and you got selected to All-Star game. And then you also are a Gilas prospect, Team Philippines. So you have a lot of accomplishments, and I'm so honored that you're on our studio so I can interview you. So let's get started. When did you start playing basketball? Well, basketball has always been around me, so I started at a young age. I think when I was four years old, I just fell in love with the game. Mm -hmm. And how do you work on your game? I just work hard every day, and after I play a game, whatever I need to improve on, I just work on it. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, you played in BioSteel and SMNBTC. So BioSteel, some really big names that played BioSteel. Obviously, Christian David, who was a top prospect, played BioSteel. And then you played BioSteel as well. Can you talk about how BioSteel was for you? Well, I looked at it as a big accomplishment because you rarely see any Filipinos there. So while I was there, I thought it was a good time to just show my game, play hard, and do my best. And I ended with 20 points, and our team won. So mm -hmm. it was a good, it was a good feeling. Did you know you were gonna get selected to BioSteel? Like you had to be selected to play in that game. So how did you did you know that you were going to get selected? Well, I didn't know I'd be selected, but after this high school season, I just I just knew I'd be in it. Mm -hmm. After winning NJC, the first ever, and getting MVP, I just thought it was a breakout year for me. Mm -hmm. And you played against, again, the top prospects in, in Canada. Obviously, Elijah Fisher was here in studio and you played on his team and you got the W as well. Yeah. Now, not only did you play with top players, but you went to the Philippines with Mike Cruz and your dad and your dad was coaching Coach Rod and you played against all these teams from the Philippines, Ateneo, and you guys got to, you know, the, almost the finals, the final four, right? So talk about SMNBTC. How was that? How did you play in that tournament and how did you feel like playing? Well, to play in the Philippines, you just have to get used to the environment out there. It's physical, and the refs let everything go, so you just have to adapt to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got selected as an all-star, too, as SMNBTC. What, what were people telling you, or what did you find out about yourself in the Philippines? They were telling me that it was big. I, did, I thought it was something little, but being the youngest there, I looked at it afterwards as something big. Mm -hmm. And... What coach, was there any coaches that were interested in you and what did you, and who were you talking to? Yeah, some top schools were interested in me like Ateneo, La Salle, mm -hmm. San Beda, FEU, mm -hmm. and NU. Mm -hmm. And those are basically the top high schools there. And what was your favorite game in SM and NBTC? Like uh, your stats or the team that you've played? FEU, because mm -hmm. they played dirty and physical, so. And then I you ended up to losing to them to too, yeah. right, at the end. Yeah. But I know it was a, it was a close game. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like I said, your dad coached you from very little. What yeah. has your dad taught you about basketball ever since the start? He just taught me the basics and just if I want to make it far, you have to work the hardest, especially when you're short. Even when you're Asian, coaches look at you differently. Mm -hmm. So you have to play different be different and stand out for coaches to recognize you. What do you want to be known for as a basketball player? Well, I just want to be known as the best Filipino Canadian to ever play. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And that's, that's a big goal because like I said, there's been some big Filipino Canadians that have come out of Canada, notably Matthew Wright, who's still playing in the PBA right now. You have Christian David, who's also a top prospect. If you YouTube his name, he's out there. And there's so many Filipino Filipino Canadians playing. Now, what player do you look up to in the NBA or anywhere? So someone I look up to is Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. He's short, but he's crafty, and he's, he has like a good mentality. Mm -hmm. What part of your game do you think is the best for you, your strength? I say shooting mm -hmm. and being able to 
lead and run a team. And what do you want to improve on? I want to improve my, my defense. Mm. As a point guard, you need to be able to guard um, bigger guards who are faster and stronger. So yeah. you just have to get used to it. And since you've been playing basketball since, I think you said four, four, right? Yeah. If any kid, Filipino kid, because now you're a role model, that you, I know you mentioned to me that when you're at Filipinos tournament, people watch you. Yeah. Titos come up to you, they want to know when you're playing because you've become such a, a role model almost. So if any Filipino kids or any kids come up to you, what kind of tips would you give them? I would just tell them to work hard and whenever they play, just do their best because they never know what's out there for them. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know what's out there for you, but obviously you're a big prospect. If there's any coaches or scouts watching this and they want to know what you provide to a team, what do you provide to a team? I can outwork everyone and show you why I should be the main point guard on the team. I'll lead the team by example and communicating with others and helping others by bringing out the best out of them. And just, for, and just to re-clarify, what is your end goal? What, is your, what do you want to achieve after all is said and done? I just want to be the best Filipino-Canadian looked at and for kids to look up to me and to play in the NCAA Division I. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? Anyone that you'd like to shout out? Look at that camera over there and give a shout out. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and dad who are always there for me. They always support me. Ever since I was young, they've been to my games and they always look up to me and look after me. So thank you. Yeah, and that's, that's all we have with Tyler. Like I said, if you haven't watched him play, I really, I really, really recommend you to do so. I don't know if you're going to play the NABA or any of those Filipino tournaments, but he is someone to watch. He has hezies, he has moves, can score. And it's been a pleasure to, to know you. And I hope, again, like I said, to see you in a Team Philippines uniform and maybe even play NCAA because you're, you're a talent. And I know the Filipino Canadians are rooting for you. So thank you for being here. Thank you.